We are going to show you today several different places that you don't want to miss at Disney Springs. Right, Gigi? Yes, I'm excited. Lots of great stuff that you don't want to miss when you come down here. And that's coming at you right now. This right here is one of the spots that you don't want to miss when you come to Disney Springs. Ooh, this is a must. And for us, it is a must because we love chocolate. Yes, we do. And you can get a free chocolate square in, in Giardelli chocolates. Of course we're going in to get that free chocolate. This is a must, must do. It's a must do. Must do. Oh, thank you. Thank you. What do we got? We got a... Look, they got the recipes. We got a milk chocolate caramel. You gonna get you one? Yeah, I'm gonna get you one. Oh yeah, small shop, but it's a sweet shop. It's such a smells so good. It's a small shop, Gigi, but a sweet shop. We love this chocolate, don't we? Oh my god, are you kidding me? It doesn't ever make it home. Gigi's getting right into that chocolate. Oh yeah. Go for it, Gigi. Oh, us some chocolate. This is like the first stop on uh, many different cool places we're gonna stop at today this is a must-do well Gigi here is another must-do at Disney Springs it's basin and uh, that's where you get that's where you get your bath bomb on it's right by the chocolates too so you can clean up after the chocolates at basin basin is definitely a must-do place and uh, beautiful beautiful smelling bath bombs of the big ones, they got heart ones, they've got small ones. This will be great if you have a nice garden bathtub, wait for your husband to come home, get nice some candles, and some bubble baths, put this in there. Oh my God, it smells so good. Relax and do with a glass of water. And this basin shop is pretty large here at Disney Springs, and they all do also have another shop set up over at the Grand Floridian. So if you can't get to Disney Springs, you can go over to Grand Floridian and check out Basin over there. But it is a must do when you go to Disney Springs is Basin. Well, Gigi, it does look like they have some tourist trap soap here. Yes, uh, it was made for us. It's just made for us. <laughs> this is tourist trap soap for sure. Yes, and my mind is just running. I'm thinking a housewarming party or even um, with favors when you get married. You give them a little gift card or something. You give them some soap. Um, housewarming parties, birthday stocking stuffers. This is great. A great gift. Here is definitely another must do is the Arabus Brothers. Crystal shop, Gigi. Yes, I'm excited. Let's go. I love crystals and Swarovskis. Those are my favorite. Let's go look at these crystal yeah. castles. Now, Gigi, this is the place. This is the item you definitely want to come and see and check yes, out. This is this my dream home. this beautiful castle? My dream and home. it's only forty-seven thousand dollars and five forty-seven thousand five hundred dollars. So it's pocket change. Yes. Yeah. But I, I do believe they have an even bigger one than this. I'm, I'm not sure. But uh, this one is pretty pretty flashy and pretty extravagant here. Yeah. Um, and I did talk to them at one time, and they do sell quite a few of them. Well, Gigi, even this shop has, has bowed to the dark side. They have a Darth Vader here, Gigi. That is absolutely incredible. Uh, Star Wars lovers. And how much is he? He's only $29,000. Yes, that's it. It's pocket change. It's pocket right change. When you come to Disney, you're going to spend that at least. Yeah, the first day. <laughs> now, here's a tree made of all crystal balls. This is absolutely, as I say, incredible, as I usually say. And uh, very cool. You got to come in here and check this out. This is a must stop at Disney Springs. We are now at another must do. This is another must do at the yes. co op at the marketplace. My daughter told me because she's really big into Comic Con, they actually have character dresses you can buy here. So I wanted to show you and all the viewers out there. Check out. See? For Comic Con. This is the this is the dress shop from on Cherry Tree Lane. It's a new area here at the co op. Definitely a must must uh, stop here at the co-op marketplace. Gigi, she's going to be working at the Tower of Terror, it looks like. And I think Gigi needs some accessories. She can get her accessories for the Tower of Terror and she can go bell hopping. You can be whatever you want to be at Disney, right? Oh, yeah. Now Gigi's going to get a little batty on me. Yes, 
She's getting a little batty. She's going to be up at that haunted mansion, and she needs some accessories for that, too. You definitely need that accessories. You can uh, put all your cobwebs in that bag. That's right. GG for all those travelers coming to Disney. They have them set up right here with the uh, travel bags and travel accessories. My husband on the cruise. We went on a cruise. We just got back, and his suitcase was so small because my husband's like six four. So guess what? I'm gonna tell him about this Tsum Tsum so I could buy him this. Nice Tsum Tsum luggage. Because I love Tsum Tsum. Not only do they have clothing, accessories, and all kinds of other cool sections here, they have an art gallery, Gigi. Yes. And this is called Wonder Ground Gallery here at the co-op. And I love art. I do too. Co-op is definitely a place to come. They do have some classic art signage here from Mr. Toad and also from Pirates of the Caribbean. These are pretty retro. I love the retro stuff. And they do have the Dumbo and also off to Neverland with uh, Peter Pan. They have these retro glasses here. I definitely would like to have a set of these. These are so cool too. They have some Star Wars portraits here which are pretty cool too, Gigi. And this Star Wars shirt. Let's look at that. I love it because it's original Star Wars characters on there. And I'm thinking I want to get it for my husband as a Christmas gift. And all this is kind of matching too. Yes. They have the matching glasses and everything for yes, this. Yes, it's really cute. The little coasters. I mean, it's adorable. Yeah, they got the coasters and the uh, glasses and the travel mugs art, my and the art and they also have the bags and they have some pirates going on over here from the Pirates of the Caribbean ride Gigi. That is just too, that is just too, too neat. That is just adorable. And they have the matching accessories uh, from books to shirts to mugs yes. and uh, who doesn't want a pirate's, uh, pirate's shirt there. They talk about hidden Mickeys. Yes. And there's some stuff in this art that's hidden as well. There's characters hidden inside some of this art. Yes. Uh, you got Simba right here. Yeah, there's, if you look real closely, you can find some hidden characters. Rafiki. Rafiki right there. So kind of hard to see, but these are pretty incredible. And there's that old poison apple that they ate. Yes, it's beautiful. That, oh, I see the dragon. See? Yeah, I can see the dragon as well. That's pretty neat. That is really cool. Got to check out the co-op. Definitely a must-do at Disney Springs. I definitely have to come and start the, um, upgrading my art. Right here. And here is another must-do uh, at Disney Springs. You definitely don't want to miss the World of Disney. And me and Gigi did a video at World of Disney. And that's going to be a link for that video in the description of this. And it is the largest retail shop here on Walt Disney World property so you definitely this is a must do when you come to Disney Springs and this here is another must do at Disney Springs definitely is the a must -do. this is a must do is the Lego store let's yes. look around for a little bit in here as you can see they have interactive stuff going on outside and there's a lot of people here Gigi has become a Lego no she's she's the only one alive here She's surrounded by Legos. These are life-size Legos. They have some pretty incredible Legos here at the Lego uh, store here at Disney Springs. Yeah, Jasmine. I'm telling you that with Jasmine. <laughs> She's Jasmine, right? I think so. And here you can buy individual Legos, all different sizes and colors, all different shapes, on this big wall right back here in the back of this store. And uh, definitely check out the Lego store next time you're at Disney Springs. It almost feels like you're in a candy store and grabbing candy, but you're grabbing Lego. We love those candy yes. stores. Don't eat one of these, Gigi. No, Don't eat them. <laughs> oh, my God, I got scared. She thought she... an actual person. Oh, my God. These are absolutely incredible in here. She's taller than me almost. She is. She can't talk, though. And another really cool spot here at Disney Springs is the uh, town center and they have Lucky Brand and they got the Vera Bradley shop here. That's a must do too, probably GG is the Vera Bradley. Yes, for sure. Definitely a must do. We're not going to go in there, but definitely check them out. We're Me, having fun. We're having fun going through Disney Springs yep. and we're coming up on another must do here at Disney Springs. My favorite is the Coca-Cola store. Yes. We're gonna go check that out really briefly and then we'll keep moving on. Well, Gigi out here on the outside it says Candy Kitchen Fountain. 
Well, you know how we love candy. I can't wait to go. I wait. doubt they have a candy kitchen fountain. They have a, they have upstairs. They have a bar where you can get. Uh, they do like rooftop. Yeah, like, yeah, like rooftop. They have the different international flavors of the Coke brands. Yeah, Lots of merchandise. Yes. Must do here. Yes, a must. We have a lot of kitchenware in here, Gigi, because yes, Gigi loves to cook. Yes, I love it. So she can get her Coca-Cola cookware right here. I just found it. I think it's adorable. It's small enough to hang around your neck on the side when you walk in the food and wine. You have all your money, your cell phone, everything in here. I think it's adorable. That is cute. Yeah. With all kinds of little secret pockets yeah. there, Gigi. That's what I said, and it's light too. Instead of carrying that big old purse in the park, carry this, just hang it. Doesn't weigh anything. And they even got an even smaller yeah. one right there too, Gigi. Grab one of those. And it's like, it's the size of a Coke can. Oh my God! It's the size of a Coke can. Oh, and it's got a chain. This is so cute. If you want to go like on a, a date or something, got a little uh, black cocktail dress with some red shoes and the Coca-Cola purse and some red lipstick, and you're ready to go. Don't forget the red thong. That's a condom container for yeah. sure. I found the clearance rack, our favorite place to shop, right here. <laughs> clearance, people! <laughs> Check it out. Some of these are PJ's, uh, um, Gigi. What is that, Gigi? I put on my head. It's a Coca-Cola bear. She just found a pretty cool looking Coca-Cola bear. How cute do I look? <laughs> Little tiny twippers, look at that. Coca-Cola You can become right that Coca-Cola bear. So cute. That's almost like Bigfoot. These are some smaller slippers right here, Gigi, of the Coca-Cola bear. So and upstairs you can meet the Coca-Cola bear yes. and then pose for pictures. Yes. I, a onesie. I love the onesie. You make you just make all that noise with your feet. They want you to have something on besides just a Coke and a smile. I know. But don't ask my husband, he just wants to coke and smile. Well, that's no problem probably with you with that, is it? <laughs> nope. No problem at all with me. Kitty's half my age. They have all kinds of retro signs here. The 10 retro Coke signs. Everybody loves the 10 retro Coke and the classic Coke bottles for sure. They even have some other retro signage. Lots of retro signage here. It's just a world of Coke. If you love Coke, this is definitely the place to come. It's a must do at Disney Springs for sure. That's one of them T-Rexes that we've seen at the Orlando Science Center almost. Yes. Uh, it's made out of Coke cans. And I just want to do a shout out to my brother-in-law, Jorge. Cause you know he's got these tiny little arms, he looks like a T-Rex. I always call him a T-Rex. I found you, Jorge. I found your brother. Well, we're up here on top, Gigi. Yes. The top deck at the Coke store. That's There's really a lot of people, a nice. lot of people here. It's yeah, up here nice. where you can get some drinks and chill. This is really a cool vibe. You get to see the whole area. Gigi's first time up here. It's a must definitely, do though, isn't it? Definitely must do. You gotta do it, my viewers. Do this now. You'll love it. They've even got the Coca-Cola freestyle machines here for you and everybody's in line to get those drinks on up here at the Coca-Cola store at Disney Springs. And another thing to do at uh, Disney Springs that's on the must-do list is Splitsville, the bowling alley, the retro bowling alley. Uh, Splitsville, let's go check that out a little bit. This place looks uh, pretty busy. Ain't nobody splitting out of here yet. No, <laughs> they're not, it's also busy. It's loud, it's loud music. It is. And that's where you come to get down, I guess. They have a little bar going on in here. And uh, it is a bowling alley and there's lanes going all different directions. Here they sort of split off, so to speak. They got one this way, and uh, in the middle they got more seating, and over there's another alley, and they also have an upstairs. Let's go check out their merchandise, Gigi. Gigi, these chairs and stuff in here for the seating kind of looks like you're in a Las Vegas uh, casino lounge. Yes. Kind of retro. Yes. I love retro, don't you? Yes, and then they roll, too. Oh, they roll? Hey, you know what you could do? You can get your Get your bowling partner in that chair there and roll them right down the aisle Sounds and make good. that strike. They have some Splitsville shirts here and kind of retro -y. and they do have a Mickey bowling ball here which is pretty cool. They have different characters and they're all colorful. It says to roll in 
and rock out and there's one for your party princess and you can be the king of the lanes here with this one for sure those are some pretty cool bowling pins there. they also have a Minnie Mouse bowling ball here that you can purchase they have a lot of Splitsville merchandise here and uh, you got your bowling ball towels and your koozies and these very cool looking sports bottles that's shaped like a bowling pin I still want one of those well this was our little trip of some of the must-do things at Disney Springs that we like yes uh, we've only highlighted a few there's a few others I would like to share, but we don't want to make this video too long. No, we don't. So, um, these are our absolute favorites. These are some of our favorite places, and uh, there's a lot more to show you. We could show you all day, couldn't we? Oh, we could be here till nighttime. Yeah, but on that note, we're going to split. Uh, as the sign says Splitsville, so that means it's time for us to split it's and get out of here. It's time for us to go. Time for us to split, get out of here. Remember to uh, hit the subscribe button. Appreciate all you subscribers out there watching us. And uh, keep subscribing, keep watching. And uh, we're having a great time, and making it a great day as always. Because, uh, because you want to make sure you go out there and make it a great day because you deserve it, baby.